Ben Bagel, more point time captain. Um, Irish Cup quarter final tomorrow. Um, sure you look forward to it. Yeah, can't wait. I think as a as a club we haven't haven't reached the quarter final yet, so everyone's in the same boat. Looking forward to tomorrow. And hopefully we can do ourselves justice when it when it comes round. Well, I mean, Warren Point, you know, will be in a championship team. Even though you are fifteen points clear, you'll begin as the underdogs against Premiership opposition. I mean, do you think maybe people from outside the club will might be underestimating Warren Point a wee bit? Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> you know. But I think we've played them Jan and Abel teams in the last three four years. So and every time we played them, it's been a competitive first. So we can't be, see tomorrow being being any different. And given the fact that you've played Premiership opposition on quite a few occasions this season, um, Ballon Mallard, Ards, Glenavon, you've done well against them. Uh, Ballon obviously as well. Um, you know, is that something that you can take sort of heart from those games and knowing that you're you're able to compete in that level? Yeah, well, I think obviously this season we've we've done we've done well in the main against them. That night against Ballon obviously didn't go go to plan, but by that we've we've held our own and even going back from previous experience through the last last few years, there's been a. A change up obviously with, with certain players and squad members and that, but no, we we think we'll give a good a good account of ourselves more. I mean, you know, given obviously Matthew Tipton came in, you know, about 10 or 11 games into the season, and you've gone a fantastic run league ways since, and obviously the Irish Cup as well. What sort of what differences has he, has he brought? You know, with the brought to the panel from after Barry sort of stepped aside. No, well, not much has changed personnel wise, bar bar one or two, but obviously Tippy's brought his own his own ideas to the thing. To the thing. He's brought. A freshness, a freshness to it in terms of, of training that with his own his own way that he wants the, the game played. So he, he started off. You can't argue with his with his record so far. I don't think we've been we've been beating the league from his top over, and mm. hopefully hopefully we'll be in the semi final of a cup come five o'clock tomorrow evening. And I mean, you know, looking at the, the fact you're 15 points clear in the league, you know, results have gone your way. Um, you know, other results have gone your way since uh, the league split. Um, you're going into it probably at the perfect time, and the fact that you know the, the lead can be put in the back burner with that healthy lead, and you really have, have nothing to lose tomorrow, do you? No, well, as you say, we're going down into Dungan's backyard. They're the they're the Premiership club, established Premiership club with with good players. So the pressure, if you like, is going to going to be on them. So hopefully we can go down with with the underdog tag and come out the right side of the result. And what what what? Threats or, or dangers will Dungan impose? I suppose the obvious one is Andy Mitchell. You know he's heading. He's already signed a pre-contract with Glenavon last season. Um, I mean, is that so, is that you know, one player, or is there other players you need to specifically keep an eye on for tomorrow? No, I think Mitchell will probably get the get the headlines. Good player, big, strong, strong lad. He'll uh, we'll we'll have to watch him. Obviously, give him a bit of special attention. But more that, we've got good good players in plenty of different positions. So we'll give them the respect they deserve and concentrate on their own game. Then from their own in. I mean, just lastly, you know. Obviously, promotion is, is all all but secured. You know, a bar and something obviously majorly going wrong, which you know hopefully it doesn't before the end of the season. But how far do you think this Warren Point squad can go? You know, you've been a part of it for a while. You're captain. There's a lot of young players there. But how far do you do you think Warren Point can be competitive next season in the Premiership? Oh, without doubt, I think we set our start at the start of the season to get to get promoted and all being well, we're going to going to achieve that with a couple of results yet to get to get us over the line. But we don't want to come back up into the Premiership and fighting relegation like we had done in previous years. We want to push the thing on and see how far we can go. I think there's there's youth there, there's younger players coming through. Tipton's given them a chance when we come in, so hopefully we can we can progress. I mean just very lastly, I mean so how how proud would it be for you as, as club captain, you it's the first time we're point of being in an Irish Cup quarter final and you you win the first time in a, in a semi final. I mean how how proud would it be for you to lead the team out knowing that you're two steps away from an Irish Cup Irish Cup final? Yeah, well, I think tomorrow at Lap we just approach it as a as a normal game. Obviously, in the background of the club, it's a it's a big day out, whatever. But we just go onto the pitch and, and concentrate on the job we've got to do for ninety minutes. Hopefully, by the end of that, we're in a, a semi final and we can reevaluate then take a take a look at it from there if we reach this stage.